flu experts are warning that the 2025-2026 flu season could be a rough one. That's largely because of subclade K, a flu variant that has emerged this year. So what is subclade K? Is this year's flu vaccine any match for it? And what about it is making experts nervous about the upcoming flu season? All that and more in this week's status report. Last year was a very bad flu season. It was the worst since the 2020-2021 season when COVID measures like social distancing and masking are credited for bringing flu transmission down to virtually zero. In fact, every year since 2021 has had increasing amounts of flu hospitalizations. There are two main types of flu A viruses, H1N1 and H3N2. Of the two, H3N2 is considered to be more dangerous, and it's H3N2 that is mutated into the new subclade K variant. To understand why this is worrying, here's a refresher on how flu vaccines work. Every year, the World Health Organization identifies the flu strains it believes are more likely to spread in the upcoming season. Fragments from those virus strains are used by vaccine manufacturers to create that year's vaccine. Those fragments trigger the immune system to create antibodies, which prepare the body to fight off those strains if they are encountered. But the vaccine can't prepare the immune system for every type of flu. If a different flu is encountered, or if the original strains have mutated, the antibodies may not recognize them, making it more likely that the virus will trigger an infection. In this past summer, the original strain did mutate with subclade K. And by then, it was too late for the vaccine manufacturers to use fragments from subclade K in this year's flu shots. Stats infectious diseases correspondent Helen Branswell recently spoke to several flu experts about the upcoming flu season, why it might come early this year, why this year's shot may not be as robust, and why despite this, it is still vital to get a flu shot. I'll talk with Helen about all that and more in just a sec. But first, if you're enjoying this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Every week, Status Report will keep you up to date with all the most important news in health and medicine. It's a little click, but it helps us out a lot. Okay, let's chat with Helen. Hey, Helen, thanks so much. Nice to be here. So the CDC just released a new flu report. Um, did it say anything about how prevalent subclade K is right now? Yeah, it did. Uh, so they just posted on Monday the flu data for the week ending November 22nd, the week just before Thanksgiving. And um, it shows that at present, the vast majority of viruses that are circulating are influenza A. As you mentioned earlier in your intro, uh, flu A has uh, comes in two types, H1N1 and H3N2. Um, H3N2 is the predominant virus so far this year. It makes up about 80% of the viruses that have been tested so far. And of the H3N2 viruses that have been tested so far, subclade K viruses make up about 57%. So it is definitely out there in significant numbers. So this year's flu vaccine might not be a great match for subclade K, um, but flu experts you spoke to still recommend getting vaccinated. Um, why is that? Well, there are a few reasons. For one thing, H3N2 is not the only virus, and even though it's the predominant virus right now, um, that may change over the season. That, that, you know, that is seen quite commonly at the beginning of the season. Sometimes you have a lot of H, um, influenza A activity, and then late in the season, you can have a surge of influenza B activity. So just because the vaccine may not be super well suited to H3N2 right now, it doesn't mean it wouldn't offer protection against, um, H1N1 or influenza B viruses. And, you know, as I mentioned a minute ago, um, subclade K makes up about 57% uh, of the H3N2 viruses that are circulating right now. But that means 43% of the viruses, the H3N2 viruses, are not subclade K. In addition, um, even if, you know, somebody is vaccinated and encounters a, a subclade K virus, it doesn't mean that the vaccine would offer them no protection at all. Uh, scientists in the United Kingdom, where there's been a very early start to their flu season, largely because of uh, H3N2 subclade K, did a study looking at people who've been recently vaccinated and 
they found that there was good protection against getting sick enough to require hospital care from the vaccine. Is there any indication that subclade K is causing more severe illness? Uh, not at present, no. Um, I checked with people, uh, flu experts I know in Hong Kong, which had a very early flu season, largely driven by subclade K, and in Australia, which had a long extension of their flu season because of the emergence of subclade K. There were, in both cases, there were a lot of cases. In Hong Kong, there were even a lot of hospitalizations. But it wasn't, there was no indication that there was increased severity from the from the infection. In, in some other countries you mentioned, they're having an early flu season. Uh, is that going to be the case here in the U.S.? Well, so far, the data don't show a strikingly early season. Um, you know, the last few years, right about now, has been about the time that the flu season has started to kick into gear. And that's not uncommon. When you think about uh, the amount of travel and intergenerational mingling that happens during th um, Thanksgiving, it's a perfect opportunity for uh, flu to take off. That said, sometimes flu season doesn't take off until sort of January, but it's really not uncommon for activity to start to pick up in late November, early December. And if you look at this season's um, sort of epi curve so far, it's very similar to the last few years. So many uh, folks that study uh, influenza say that trying to predict flu season is, is a bit of a fool's errand. Why is that? Because flu will always do the thing you don't think it's going to do. I mean, there are some givens, you know, flu will generally come back. But flu is just a very unpredictable virus. You can see it in flu studies. People set up a study to try to see how the virus does. And it's a one-season study. And the virus just doesn't cooperate. You know, uh, a recent example, there was data published by uh, Pfizer in the New England Journal of Me Medicine recently. They did a, a phase three trial trying to see how well their um, modified mRNA flu vaccine worked. And in that season, there was almost no flu B. So they couldn't give any kind of an estimate of how well it worked against the vaccine worked against flu B. That's really common with flu. You just you just never know exactly what it's going to do. And uh, lastly, and, and most importantly, um, do you think Sidney Crosby and Conor McDavid are going to take it to Team USA uh, this year in Milan? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What did you expect from a Canadian? <laughs> Helen, thanks so much. I appreciate the time. It was always good talking. Okay. Thanks, Helen. It's always great to chat. And I'm looking forward to being bitter rivals in a couple months from now. And I'm excited for next week's video. Status Report is taking the show on the road for Ash 2025. I'll be at the American Society of Hematology's 66th annual meeting and exposition to learn what's new with blood. And if you're going to be in Orlando for Bloodapalooza, come say hi at our Stated Ash event Friday night from 6 to 9 p.m. Otherwise, I hope to see you here next week. Same stat time, same stat channel.